I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Today we're visiting Jill and we'll be photographing her with a 1967 Morris Cooper S Mark II, which she still races. We'll also be looking at her other Mini, which is a gorgeous old wood-trimmed little van. involved with Old Girls on the Road, Jill. You were a farm girl in Gilgandra. You got married at 22 and then you went to Singapore. I would think that that would have been pretty high adventure for a Gilgandra girl. The eldest daughter was six weeks old and the one thing that I wanted to know was could you buy milk in Singapore back in the... <laughs> because I didn't know anything about it at oh, all. Oh, wow. Um, you couldn't ring home. You couldn't email. Um, you had to. Yeah. I wrote letters weekly to yes. correspond. And you bought a mini in Singapore. Yes, it was supposedly be for me as my shopping car or as my everyday car, as he had a company car. But um, it turned out that it got tuned for racing, and I ever uh, ever had it. And yes. have you had the urge to move again overseas for a short stint, or Australia's no. home for now? Australia's the best place in the world. In my Fantastic. Opinion. I'm very curious as to what got you into racing. Oh, one husband, wouldn't it be? <laughs> we went to a meeting, and it was it was like a drag meeting, and um, he um, and I'm just sitting at the sidelines watching him. You were like the surfy chick, but with cars. Yeah, with cars. Yes. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I thought, if he can do that, I can do that too. What did what did the blokes think about you doing that? You don't care. <laughs> No, I don't no. care. Yeah. Back then we did have the club that we belonged to, did have a ladies class, but there were quite a few women competing. No, I just did it because I had fun and I enjoyed And the adrenaline Fantastic. rush you get is better than any medication you can take. <laughs> if you had situations where you beat men in the racing, did they take that okay? Probably not, <laughs> but it didn't worry me. Good on you. <laughs> Minis and racing have certainly been a really big part of your life. Um, you've been married for how long? 56 years. 56 years. Do you think that's a little secret ingredient that's kept things going well? I think, well? I think um, yes, and respecting one another. But I think also that we, I do have my own hobbies that I pursue, yes. and they're quite numerous. Wow, never a dull moment with you, never no. an idle moment with you by the sounds of it. No, no. You, I, I just think that that's why Ken respects, he helps me do build my frames for the beehive and I respect mm -hmm. what he does. Yes. Well, he's still out at Mini Automotive now yes. and I think that's what keeps yes. the marriage together. And that's where we're going to head. How are you feeling about the photo shoot? Oh, well, it's my favourite little car, the one out there. <laughs> I, my little Woody is the workhorse. But the race car is just oh, well. a bit different. It's a bit more the passion. Can't wait to see it. Well, this one was playing up at the race meetings and um, I said it's just not running correctly and it turned out to be in the uh, in the uh, fuel tank um, there's foam which is a it's to do with fire <laughs> 
Oh, I see. And all the all the it had disintegrated the foam because it had been running for twenty years like that, and it got all sticky all through the. And I kept complaining. Ken said, "Just harden up." <laughs> Anyhow, eventually he drove it. Yeah, you so knew what you were talking about. Well, I've got some great shots. Good. I'm Excellent. very happy. Are you? Excellent. Oh, good girl. Excellent. I would love to get a shot of Ken and Jill together, maybe. Yes. Yes. Let's bring Come Ken on, into Ken the in, in, in into the discussion. Here. Ken's always been dabbling in cars. Never be, got to beat Jill on the dirt circuit, so. Oh, Warwick one time, I was, we were both in the same race together, like we're going to be in a couple of weeks' time, and uh, we were second and third at the time, and I sort of looked around and I said, couldn't see it in the rear vision mirror, what's going on here? You know, must have spun off. And then here, here she is right alongside me trying to go past. <laughs> How long do you think you'll both be racing for? When my leg can't get over the intrusion uh, bar uh -huh. <laughs> in, the, in the car. So both your cars are over 50 years old. Um, how do you feel about the ageing process? I think it's just um, as you live your life each day. I won't say I don't have nana naps, which I do, mm. um, but I just think you get, a go get up in the morning and you think, well, okay, what am I going to achieve today? And I think it's important for me that I achieve something every single day of my life. So do you think that that kind of keeping active and um, doing stuff and learning new stuff uh, is a much better way of keeping yourself uh, young in mind and even young in body than perhaps going and getting 30 milligrams of Botox in your lips, say? <laughs> yes, I don't mind. All these wrinkles and all the in my face is grandchildren, children. Yes, you've had... A and everything, everything that I do in my life, putting helmets on and having ratty hair after I take my helmet off, I, I think it's just part of who I am part of it, yeah. and I don't want to be any different. And and I think if you were stressing about those sort of things, this is my theory anyway, if you're stressing about those sort of things, it's only going to stack the years on you. Yes, I agree uh, with in you. A, I um, agree with in you. a negative way. I yeah. agree with you. Jill, it's been just wonderful getting to know you and your cars. We could stay here talking until the sun goes down completely and it's getting cold now, so I think Let's call it a day. Yes, I Thank think it might so be much. time to hit the road. Yes. Mm -hmm.